All right, so anywho, Ghost here. Um, I've decided that I don't know. Just the intro thing wasn't for me. I mean, my video, my video editing software is done by my video editing is done by a software on my phone called Splice. Splice started taking up a lot of memory on my phone. I couldn't release videos that were as long as I wanted. I had to do a lot of editing to make them shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. And they started out, started coming out like they came out in good quality, but they came out at low quantity, if that makes sense. Like they were made good, but they were also short, like too short. So I didn't feel like going through all the extra editing to have a really short video when I could just like do everything just raw, just film it and throw it out there. So there's no more intro, no more editing. It's just going to be me, my phone. I'm going to make the video. I'm going to throw it out to you. So I just released, you know, today, tonight was supposed to be a big night, like, um, I just released one video a couple minutes ago. I said on my Facebook that I was going to release three, but I think I'm going to do four. This is the second one. This is my Men in Black movie review since I went to see Men in Black 3 in theaters today. I personally love Men in Black. The third one was, I was really actually the best one out of all three of them. It's normally like the first one that's always good, but this sequel right here was always was just the best like everything was very well thought out everything down to the T everything was perfect and um, the one thing that made me mad about it was the fact that Will Smith said he was considering making a Men in Black 4 I personally think that is a horrible idea not not because I don't like Men in Black because I love Men in Black I've always loved Men in Black Men in Black was is is just a very good movie series to me but I think Men in Black three was the perfect ending for the series and editing another installment would fuck it all up like you had like everything was perfect we have Men in Black one where Jay first got recruited Men in Black two where you know, Kerry left, but he came back, and then we have Men in Black 3, where so all secrets were revealed, we reveal, it's like, like, it is revealed why Jay was really recruited, it revealed what happened to his father, it revealed why Kay is always so angry, everything is just answered in that last video, I mean, in that last movie, so making another one would just really mess up the entire series. Like, they ended it perfectly. Why make a fourth installment? But, anywho, um, everything is very well thought out. Um, Will, it was such a perfect performance. And um, what's weird is Will Smith is in his 50s, but he still looks young. Like, if you watch Hancock... You know, like, in this movie we made, like, three years ago, you could tell he's really getting old. But in every Men in Black movie, he looks like he's still in his 20s. And that's weird. Like, it's... Like, it's like Men in, Bl in Men in Black, you don't age. Something like that, like... But... I say, it was perfect. I can't do much judging. Uh, so many historical events were, um, brought up, um, it brought up when they met Andy Warhol, um, who was apparently an alien. No, Andy Warhol was an agent. All supermodels were aliens. I understand that. <laughs> uh, because supermodels are kind of, kind of crazy. Um... But that's a whole thing for a different video that I might make someday. My views on what supermodels do and why I view them as retarded. But, um... um another... A few more things that I didn't like about the movie. They killed off Zed. He was the original director, ruler, overseer person of Men in Black. And they just ended him. I mean, I don't know what happened to Rip Torn. Did he die? I don't know. I gotta check check Wikipedia because 
I don't know what happened to Rip Torn. Like, did he accept a different movie role or did he just die? Because Zed was a really important member in MIB and he just disappeared. So, um, and another thing, they didn't put Jeeves in the movie. I mean, I know everyone sees Men in Black for the action, but I personally think that the best feature in Men in Black is seeing Jeeves get his head blown off at least once. Like, it has, it has to be automatic that Jeeves has to get his head blown off at least once. But the end result is Men in Black turned out pretty good. On a scale of 1 through 10, I got to give it at least a 9.5. You know, I can't, get, I can't give it a full 10 because there were a lot of, there were errors. Like I said, the Zed murder, the uh, no Jeebs, and uh, the plot, the story was kind of hard to follow. Like, I understood it. Everything, I knew what was going on. I just couldn't really follow it as well as I could with the first two movies. I guess there was like just so much going on that you know it was hard to follow. I, I think they tried... To make Men in Black 3 the final movie. Like, they tried to get everything out in one movie. And, like, they were going to make it, like, a beta test to see if they wanted to make it 4. But they purposely did so much in one movie. So that way, if it didn't get a good reception, they could just cut and run. So, anywho, that's my review on Men in Black 3. I'm going to do one for The Avengers in a couple minutes. So I'm going to upload this, I'm going to think about what i got to say for the Avengers, and I'm going to upload it. And after that, I'm going to reach into my Angry Birds poetry book and read a couple selections. So rate, comment, subscribe, love y'all. Sorry for the lack of pizzazz. <laughs> but, you know, I'm trying to throw out more videos. Throw out longer videos. I love you guys. It's, don't think of it as being lazy. Think of it as me trying to be with you more, be with you longer, be with you faster. Right? It's like, no, it really is just me being lazy. I love you a lot.